Hello, my YouTube family, Josiah here on New Gaming, bringing you guys some more Dark Souls Daily. This time, I have done something, finally, that so many people have asked about and requested and suggested. Uh, dual wielding katanas. This was actually a lot of fun. I really did enjoy it. Uh, I also, this is just something entirely superficial, but I, I like the way when you parry with a katana in your left hand, I like the way it looks. It's just like a really quick, uh, short motion. And I find it rather enjoyable. I know it's just something, like I said, superficial, but sometimes the placebo effect uh, when you're using stuff that you like the way or the, that you like how it looks can affect how you actually play. So uh, I'm not saying that's what happened here, but who knows? It may have uh, helped me out a little bit. Also, the uh, the light attack with the katana in your left hand is actually pretty quick too, and you can interchange the light attacks between katanas to switch up your timing and kind of throw off people that would try to parry you. Uh, I think that works. That's uh, a good way of explaining it. But yeah, this was a lot of fun. I don't think I actually, sadly, managed to get any parries. I don't actually know what type of parry it is. I'm sure it's just a normal parry, which would make sense. It could be also special, but I, I don't think so. It might be. I don't know. Someone will correct me, I'm sure, <laughs> or I can look up. Uh, I'll look it up and probably put an annotation up there if I remember. If I remember... So yeah, I got a, a couple of good fights. I had some, I had some really good fun with this. Set. So if you guys are wondering, I'm, I'm wearing mostly shadow robes. I'm not gonna actually put the stats. This is the same character with the um, this is the bus boy build. Uh, if you want to look up the stats, I, I have a video on that. But I have the Iato right in my right hand and the Uchi Katana on my left. I, I prefer the uh, Iato. Iato. Yeah, I think that's right. I prefer its heavy attack to the Uchi Katanas greatly. So. That's why I'm using that instead. Also, uh, I don't have anything else in my off hand on my left hand, but I do have a bow in my off hand on my right hand. Uh, I use a little bit, not too much. It's mostly the katanas. That's, that's kind of the idea that I was going for. So if you guys will enjoy this, like I said, it's something I've been asked about for, for so very long. What else? So I have Pyromancy equipped, but I don't have a Pyromancy Catalyst. Maybe I should have thrown one on, but I, I was really just uh, kind of delving into the Dual Katana lifestyle. <laughs> because it's a, it's a way of life, apparently. No, I don't know. Some people are really into it, and I definitely see why. It's a lot of fun. I, I've, heard, I've heard a lot of people tell me that they don't do anything but Dual Wield Katanas. It's, a, it's it's not easy. It's it's a little more challenging than having a shield, obviously. But if you get used to it, it really does pay off. It's a, it's a good artillery... Alternative. It's a good alternative to uh, a shield. It actually works out pretty well. If, you, I, if, if I can speak correctly, if I can get my words out, I think you'll actually see maybe one or two fights. I actually do end up landing the offhand. Uh, well, probably more than that. One or two. More, more than one or two times. But one or two times in these fight fights, it actually pays out that I'm using that in my offhand. Ooh. God, I did actually get a. Repost. What am I saying? I'm losing my mind. It actually killed him too. Wow. <laughs> I, I think I was just as surprised when I reposted him the first time. I didn't expect it to land. So I did. I lied. I got a, I got one repost at least. Pretty happy about that. Here I'm not getting ganked. I, I thought I was initially. Usually when you see a white phantom in the the berg, it's what's, what's assumed. But this guy actually recognized me and he just says the white phantom fight me. And he sits by and watches. Uh, so yeah, I was kind of confused at first, but uh, I figured it out after after a while, and yeah, I just ended up fighting the White Phantom. I think he sends me a couple messages. You'll get to see uh, the subject line of the messages. <laughs> so I guess this is just someone who recognized me. I think a message is coming here in a second. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, he was really excited, obviously. He didn't actually fight me, though. I didn't get a chance to. Uh, kind of a spoiler. I apologize. Oh, man. Again, with the yawning. Always when I want to re record my audio. Always when I want to commentate. I don't yawn at all the rest of the day. It's so silly. <laughs> you gotta calm people down sometimes to give them a kick. It doesn't do any damage, but it stumbles them. Alright, so here the phantom steps in. I do, uh, I have to say, use the Dark Wig Rain Ring greatly to my advantage here. Uh, just getting light trades and then rolling out of his damage. It's a pretty simple thing to do. Ow, that actually hurt. How much damage was that? That was probably about 500 damage. 5-something. 
I'm not actually sure. I have 1,800 health in total at this character. And that was, that was around about a third, a little less, so yeah, probably in the 500s. Now I switched to the Black Knight Great Axe, and actually, I have to mention, this individual felt it necessary to apologize just switching to this weapon. I actually, I don't see why, I mean, it it is a very damaging weapon, and, and for how much range and how quick it is, I, I can see why some people would feel it was a little overpowered, but I actually don't think it's overpowered. It's a very balanced weapon, in my opinion, in that, in that way, listen. It's balanced in that its pre its attack patterns are incredibly, incredibly predictable. So if you have basic understanding of a parry, you should try with this weapon. It is the easiest thing to parry. But uh, I actually I don't go for too many parries. I don't know why. I probably should have. I guess I had my minds on other things going for the light trades for the most part. I actually did get a, a bit of damage off of the poke there. He's really low. But uh, ow, this thing hurts. Yeah, one more hit and I'm dead. Same for him, but. The luck was not in my favor, as you guys will see here. I'm going to roll out and get caught right at the end of my invincibility frames, which is kind of unfortunate. But yeah, I don't have a problem with that weapon. So if the if the fellow that's watching my video uh, that felt the need to apologize is watching my video, the fellow that it, if the fellow that is watching my video, oh wait, if the fellow that felt the need to apologize is watching my video. <laughs> Oh my gosh, like in English, I swear. This guy d decided to start out with the power within, and he did 200 damage to himself. That was really silly. He also summoned me. I have to mention... Uh, oh, I didn't even finish my other thought. I, I don't really feel like that was a, pro a problem for me. It was just unlucky, uh, bad timing on my part, whatever you might ha might say. Um, but yeah, this, this guy did summon me. I... Never really invade. I, I typically just put my sign down and get summoned, so that's that's how most of these fights are happening, just in case anyone was wondering. But yeah, uh, he summoned me, and I guess he thought that the summon process was going to be a lot quicker, and he'd cast Dark, or Power Within, thinking that... Oh gosh, but he then he goes ahead and be a scumbag when I was going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, he tried to heal humanity there, and I ended up just getting a lucky arrow and killing him. And then I do the... Uh, Shrug. It's not actually the gesture. It's just when you don't have when you have it equipped and you can't use it, and you press square anyway. That's a little gesture. Uh, so yeah, uh, I guess what, what what my understanding or what my thought process about that would be is that he thought that when he pressed my summon, I was going to get summoned almost immediately after. So he took the chance to cast the power within ahead of time, and he realized that it takes uh, sometimes up to a minute or so. Uh, this fellow is using the claymore. This is the last fight here. Wait, do I get another... Wait, wait, wait. Let's not spoil anything. I already poisoned him. Oh, no, I remember what happens. This guy tries to... This guy decides to be a little bit silly. And if you see I'm kind of R1 spamming right here, it's just to try to catch him at the end of his roll without the invincibility frames. So that, um... So that I can actually land a few of the hits. Because I swung like five times at him twice, so... I don't know, he's being really, I don't know, <laughs> he's being this silly individual, um, going for really bad trades. My arrows do like 250, his are doing like 80, 100 at most, not much. And then he goes to the Wrath of the Gods, I just try to roll away and let him die. And he goes ahead and flasks, but he kills himself. So I don't know what that was about, I guess he just didn't want me to kill him with the poison, but he kills himself. <laughs> So I respect that anyway, I guess. I was kind of dumb. You should let me have the satisfaction. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Love you guys. Shall stand and God bless.